Okay, we're here at a property at Seaforth. Um, this was a property that was purchased about three months ago. There was a pre-purchase inspection done, but there was a lot of storage here uh, from the previous owner and the uh, other uh, pest control company didn't actually find any live termites, although they did say there was evidence of termite activity and uh, and a more um, uh, thorough inspection should be done. I came down once the owners moved in and uh, had a look around and I'll just show you what I found. <coughs> okay, this was the area where the client actually took off some cork tiles and the glue behind had evidence of termites and they actually saw a few termites which they photographed and sent us a copy um, so I knew there were termites here when I came down, I just had to find them. There's no sign of anything under the carpet. Quite often the termites will track through under the carpet along the smooth edge. But in this case, didn't find anything there, that was all nice and clean. So there was no sign of any termites coming across here, which there quite often is. You'll see them tracking through the underlay and the smooth edge, but there's no evidence at this point. So my guess was that they must have been coming through in the joint between these two walls. Okay, so we're back in this room again where the cork tiles are on the wall. And obviously if they're in there and they're in that side, they could have been in this room as well. This is all on a concrete slab. When we come into this room, it's a timber floor. Um, I did drill through the floor and it, it's a floating timber floor directly over a concrete slab. The, uh, the height is only about three inches so there's no access underneath this area. But it's always worth uh, drilling through, just a pilot hole through first and then sometimes there may be four or five hundred mil depth down there then you need to cut a trap and then access that area. There could even be a nest underneath, something like that. When I came into this room I could see that this skirting was badly damaged just sounds like paper and I could hear the termites in there so what I've done I wanted to get to the bottom plate inside the wall cavity so I've just removed the electricity plate and put a bait directly inside the wall when I opened up this the termites are now feeding into the bottom plate um, that's badly damaged inside, there's significant activity through there. So I've placed a bait directly over the activity. And if you look through into there, you can see where I've put the bait. And again, you can see where it's all been reamed out. So that's been completely eaten in four weeks. Okay. So because the termites have eaten that bait, I'm going to put another one straight in there. And if you transfer them straight away, they won't get disturbed. As you can see, there's nothing left of the bait. There's quite a bit of mud just over on that side to the left. That wasn't as built up with mud as that last month. So the termites have tried to seal that see how easy it is to just push a screwdriver through into that bottom plate so they've probably done significant damage to the stud walls and I'll just place a bait straight over the top of that and let them carry on feeding Thank <laughs> you. 